road she traveled. And her women who made a difference. A cool kids gift to our community. One day at a time, Anita Fraggle, portrayed by Michaela. This was no joke. This was a crisis. Companies everywhere, gone forever. But I wasn't going to let that happen to include metal graphics. I took the company into my own hands. I've been through the ups and downs with McLoons. And I've been here for 10 years, so now it's my turn to be a leader. It's the year of 1965, and I am a personal secretary to James McLoon. The youngsters here are piling sandbags in front of the McLoon's building for an incoming Mississippi flood. And it's terribly sad because they don't expect anything in return, and they are working so hard. There are mostly boys, but there are some girls too. I feel for them, but this storm is coming and the water is rising. We are preparing for the worst. Now that the storm has finally subsided after about two weeks, we have found water everywhere in the building. We have people that are trying to pump the water out of the company building, but it's an uphill battle with the water up to at least the desks, and all of the typewriters are ruined. Right now, we are moving the files to my house to attempt to try to run the company, but I have only one phone line and a child I have to take care of. I have four or five people working in my house. Trying to work, but it is almost impossible to get any work done with the child running loose. But we are pulling through. Today we are heading back to the company. We have to replace everything. The cleanup took so long that the floors were totally ruined and the walls were partially destroyed. It is going to cost a lot of money to get new machines, but it will be worth it. I am helping take charge and get things done, and we have tons of orders to fill with no way to make them without machines or typewriters. Later, after many years, the company has become a phenomenal company and we now have a new owner because Jim McLoon, the former owner, passed away. I have been given the job of company president after I have been many types of secretaries, managers, and a vice president of manufacturing. I want to make McLoon's the best place possible. I have already improved many little things like introducing flex time where you can choose your hours and other little things. This is a new beginning for me, and I love these people so much. By allowing your employees to participate in decision making, you get more total commitment to their decisions. December 2000. I am now a retired company president for McLuhan Metal Graphics, and I would like to thank my Aquinas High School teacher, Sister Marie Cecile, that referred me to the most intriguing and exhilarating jobs in the world. I feel that I have made a comparable change in the company from okay to outstanding, and I want everyone to know me as a person who changed many people's lives with a small company. This has been the best experience of my life, and I believe in making a difference in not only your life, but other people's lives as well. This podcast brought to you from La Crosse, Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voice.